Those absent today include Coutinho, Sturridge, Lalana, and Henderson. James Milner back in midfield as well. And also good to see Divock Origi fit and fresh once again. Yeah, I think um, a strong enough lineup. I think quite surprising that it's not the starting lineup you might expect to be facing Watford. But a strong lineup nevertheless. And this is the Bilbao team. They played against Dinamo Bucharest in the Europa League, formerly of Liverpool, leading them today. But it is an entirely different side that has. That's Trent Alexander Arnold. But Salah's just a little too high for Divock Origi. Just that buzz though when Mohamed Salah gets the ball. Not quite sure this was a cross, to be honest with you. I think it was more like a shot, wasn't it? I think he fancies picking out the far corner. Just a little bit too much pace on it for Divock Origi for, for it to be a cross. I think if he's crossing that, he floats that. It's Origi on the chase. And the cover was good. Unai Nunes and but Origi, that's really nice. Salah on towards Firmino. Oh, he's Divock Origi! Liverpool have put some football moves together in pre-season that have been pretty impressive and that had it led to a goal would have perhaps been the most impressive of the lot well that's right up there isn't it you see the end result but it's a wonderful ball by Joel Matip Liverpool need to do more of that for me Moreno it's a lovely ball Salah will get it at the second attempt it's towards Origi with the header well two good chances now for the Belgian and neither on target well again really incisive play from Liverpool Nice and sharp and quick and early. Towards Firmino, it's a lovely take, that's a penalty to Liverpool. Defender, Inigo Lequi, completely lost Roberto Firmino. And the Brazilian was just too bright for him. Well, it's not great defending from Lequi. Again. And he just about squeezes it past the goalkeeper this time. And Liverpool lead in Dublin. Well, good job, it had a little bit of pace. Carita Balaga. Nearly. Or Williams to break. And they do have a man over here to Bilbao if they work this right. Inaki Williams picks out the pass perfectly. And the finish in the end is off target from Akeche. Well, Akeche is just at full stretch, really. It's a lovely break, isn't it? Williams delays it, delays it. And for that pass. That's on for Williams, they're getting closer here of Bilbao, and they may well get themselves a goal, which they do. Inaki Williams, who has earned rave reviews across Europe over the past 12 months or so, capitalises on winning the ball there and scoring. That was a bad goal to lose, isn't it? It's one on one situation, Dehan Lovren. Probably goes the wrong way with the challenge, but it's a difficult one. Could he maybe just slid it back to Simon Mignolet? Not quite sure, but then... Williams, that's a lovely touch. Cordoba round the goalkeeper, he's forced himself very wide. And he won't find a, a red and white striped shirt. Moreno's been clattered late there as well, which is an easy way out for Liverpool. Not an easy free kick. Well, in times from Liverpool's point of view, it's a little bit too much space. Simon Mignolet does exceptionally well committing himself and forcing the, the player wide. Forces Origi a little wide. And Liverpool have themselves a corner. Inside the penalty area, Liverpool are quite big today. The players they've got, and they have the chance which is a header from Marco Gritsch, which just looped quite a distance from the goal in the end well he's always struggling to get a free header but he's a big unit Marco Gruic is good in here he is a threat it's on to Moreno great touch Moreno maybe if you were going to be critical he tried to be a little too cute well the technique's right isn't it because you want to hit it with the outside of your left foot but you've got to hit it away from the goalkeeper does well to create the opportunity but in doing that, hitting it with the outside of your left foot like that. It... Well, that's lost by Gomez, and it opens up Liverpool, the shot straight in the end from Cordoba. But Simon Mignolet, he's a little disappointed with himself there, because he's got a decent left foot as Cordoba. 
Well, that's the trouble of trying to play. Here's Ryan Kent. Hopefully to stays at home. It's come to Sadio Mane. That's a brilliant save. What a stop that is by the goalkeeper. Mane denied. Only due to a really fantastic stop by Kepa. Well, one well, the support is trying to arrive now in the shape of Woodburn. Great shift, Ben Woodburn. That's a really, really special goal by a very talented young man. Wonderful composure by Ben Woodburn. And Liverpool are back in front. Well, wonderful strike. Kepa had absolutely no chance whatsoever with this effort. But all credit to Solanke, because not only is he a willing runner to put that effort in to get round the back of the back four of Athletic, he has the poise, he has the... Now Solanke. Oh, it's come all the way through, the goalkeeper lost it. And he's very, very happy to see the ball go just wide of the post, because he got himself in no man's land there, the young goalkeeper. Well, again, it's Solanke, that's, he takes up a really good position. No, listen, don't get me wrong, we, we had a night out, but we, we knew exactly what, what we was required from the first day of the season. Jose got in the way. Palmer, huge cry of shoot. That's oh, a brilliant ball, and Dominic Solanke scores again! What an eye for goal that this young man has. On the score sheet in pre-season, and catching the eye again is Dominic Solanke for Liverpool. Well, again, it's a position where, as a striker, you just want to be. It's a lovely ball. Two super goals. Ben Woodburn with a real cracker. And one from Dominic Solanke.